Okay, so this is the property we're going to be working on. This is what all the fuss is going to be about. So, a nice little area here at the front. To tile. Little uh, ramp area there we have to do. Um, going around the side, over there. And let's take you for a little look around the back as well. We're going to be putting some artificial grass in around the back on this oval area. So let's go for a quick spin around the back. So that little oval area there, that's going to be dug out today and that's going to be artificial grass, which is going to go into there. And a little bit of stonework by here. So where you see the border there around the actual grass area, that's going to be the deco tiles. We're going to cut those into like wedge shapes and that's going to be the exterior to that. This area here, we're going to take that out and we've got some new aluminium brushed aluminium posts to go in. They're in the garage, but we're not going to be doing that at the moment. We're going to be concentrated today on the dig out. Ah, and there's um, a patio area around the back, Indian sandstone. That needs to be rejointed as well because it's starting to fall apart. And we're going to use the Marshall's exterior jointing grout for that. But yeah, this is what it's going to be all about. Really, really looking forward to this job. So yeah, stay tuned because it's going to be amazing. So there's my good mate Josh. You'll probably recognise him from the last video. So we're going to start digging up an area by here so we can add all the earth and stuff around the back to it so the truck for the uh, taking all the spoil away is coming friday two o'clock and four o'clock so we should be able to get rid of at least 26 tons by the weekend so yeah let the dig begin have a little blaster on the back now to get the oval sticker on the bit out the front and I'll leave you to it now okay so we've got two loads out probably about 26 tons so we're gonna start getting rid of the first load yeah come now use Paul Fowler tip of ground fire Cardiff great bunch of lads they're gonna be taking all the uh, oil away and delivering the hardcore so yeah, nice to see the first load going. So first pile's gone. Josh is busy digging out now the next little section and that'll be going now in the next couple of hours. So good to see it being dug up and good to see it being taken away as well. So Monday morning, back on the job. Josh is around the front digging some more of the driveway up. So I thought whilst he's doing that, I'm going to come round the back where the oval is, the, um, we're going to do the artificial grass and the border. And uh, we got six inches out already, so I'm going to stick the whacker plate on it now, just firm up all the ground, ready for the hardcore to come on. So, yeah, round and round we go with the whacker plate. So only just the once over with that because there wasn't any hardcore there, it was just the earth. So we're just flattening down the earth for now. So uh, back around the front. Or actually, no, I might even um, put some pegs down and start shaping the oval. Yeah, maybe that's a better idea. Okay, I'm having a little set out around the back. I've just set some pins up for this oval. So I'm basing the oval, lining her up with the middle of the window. So at least when they're looking out the window, everything's symmetrical. So um, we started filling up the back with hardcore already. I put two inches down already and compacted that. Now we're going to start putting some more on top. There was so much hardcore around the front under the, um, under the existing driveway, what was there. 
So we just separated the bricks and started bringing around. It's pointless having it all taken away, then bringing back the same stuff. So utilize what you got, stick it in the hole. stuff going away. Josh is busy digging the hole down there. All looking good, all looking good. So let's have a quick look around the back. So I just put two loads of type one around here now. Just finish off compacting that. So rather than throwing the stuff away, I might as well use it. So we're out the back at the moment. We're gonna have a little mark out of this uh, so-called oval we've now changed to a circle uh, we've gone for a circle design instead because the cuts which have to go around it will be so much easier if it's done circular so I've tied um, some string line to some um, some spray paint and I put a bottle top on the end of the string line to stick over the peg and that allow me to spin it round without the string coiling around the peg changing the measurement so I'm gonna set that up now and give her a quick spin and mark it out testing testing hello So let's quick look around the front. So the front's looking good. Here's my man. Who's the man? Josh the man. He's the he's the daddy. So we got um, yeah, we've had three loads out now. So there's a bit of a pile there for tomorrow. We've left X amount of the path. So at least they can get in and out because the next load we got going out doesn't actually go out till uh, tomorrow at two o'clock. So there's no point ripping all that up yet. I might as well let them get it in the house just in case you want to get some milk and bread and stuff like that. So we'll crack on with the rest of that tomorrow. So back on the job, Tuesday morning, huge dig out. There's already about a hundred mil of hardcore gone in. So, we still got, we still got the 350 mil we were looking for. So that's good, plus 100 already down. So yeah, proper big thick driveway. All coming together nicely. He's just dropping a load of type one off and taking the last, last load of spoil away. So that would be 48 tons of earth and concrete removed. And I've lost count of how many tons of actual hard gauze gone in it. But let's just say loads. Okay, let's uh, go over what I'm gonna be doing for levels and expansions. So, from this point, straight to the house we're gonna have an expansion joint there and the patio slopes this way and it's gonna slope that way and then that'll be picked up then over the corner and an echo drain which I'm gonna connect up today ready so that's that side of it and then here flush going straight across I'm gonna put another expansion joint in there so regarding levels then from this side um, the drive naturally slopes towards the house anyway, so we've definitely got a great fall going that way. So from this point now, that slopes all the way over there to an eco drain, which is already being plumbed out ready. So that's ready in the corner. Um, the house was sloping it this way. 
So any water lands that way, slopes across there, picks up this line, slopes across there into the eco drain over that side. And that should be um, tickety boo. That should pretty much be the levels I need. Okay, back on the job again today. Prepping everything out, ready for the concrete and contractors. There's my mate Lee over there. He's busy tying up the steel. Hello, YouTubers. <laughs> Gotta say hello to the YouTubers. So this uh, steel mesh is the A142. Um, that's going down the floor with some bricks underneath it. The bricks are 75 mil, and then be another 75 mil on top of that, which is looking for the 150 we're after. Um, I'm about to do some shuttering by here now as well. And I'll put another expansion joint in there, but it's something for the contractors when they're doing it tomorrow from the back of the house to there. It's going to run away then everything else from here to there run away. And obviously everything goes that way. So we're almost there now. Got plenty of steel left. Fingers crossed is enough. But yeah, getting on with it, getting on with it. Love it. Right. So close. Close but no cigar. I can't find any spikes to do some shuttering over there. So concrete contractors aren't actually coming in till um, midday tomorrow. So that gives me plenty of time just to get a couple of miscellaneous parts finished. But yeah, I managed to keep it um, at schedule. Um, we only started it Thursday last week, so it was five working days to get it to look like this. So yeah, I'm really happy with that. And the levels are great. So finished off all the little snaggy bits. Um, it's calm before the storm now. So I just had a call from uh, Justin. He's on his way over with the boys. So quick coffee. So here we go. The uh, company I'm using today is South Wales Concrete Pumping. I've used them before on a couple of previous jobs. So uh, always nice to know you can trust somebody. So i just given the ground a good soak in first. So at least when the concrete gets poured onto it, the uh, moisture doesn't absorb into the ground too quick. So you know, put the hose around it and give her a good drenching. Truck's here, ready to start pouring, so I'll spin it around and we'll uh, film it going in. let that go off a little bit square it up stick some steel in it and Monday morning then I'll add to it and the steel I'm gonna stick out of it that'll help bind it plus it's already got reinforced steel in it already so no biggie but yeah it's either too much or too little and this time it's too little oh well absolutely shattered so yeah there's maybe a ton short I was so it was actually a lot thicker than I thought in some places but I don't mind that you know thicker is better than less so I gotta put another ton in now Monday for um at least they'll be able to walk on it tomorrow because they got a dog so they're gonna want to take the dog for a walk so as long as they can do that that's great but um yeah a little bit short well I can't win them all 
So, um, yeah, we'll come back to that Monday. Oh, then we've got to let it set then for about six weeks before I can come back around and start tiling it. So, there's going to be a bit of a pause in this video. But all things take time, especially the nice ones. Right. Well, there's my van. Got the van in you. Right, so this is it. This is the driveway. Um, it's reinforced concrete base of how much is in there? Um, eight inches of reinforced concrete. And then we got about 200 to 250 mil hardcore underneath. And it's gonna be a beast. So I'm gonna break this video down into smaller bite-sized videos and hopefully then I can get one in at the end. So today I'm gonna have a go at doing the path. Depends if I can cut enough tiles. Right, so there's a load of ivory tiles. What we're gonna actually, we must spin about round. The width of the actual pathway is 1.2 meters, 1200 mil. So we're gonna have a 300 mil border there a 600 mil copper tile there and another 300 mil border there. It's gonna be um, gray, ivory, copper, ivory, gray. Um, yeah, so there's a load there, the ivory ready. Here is a load of gray yet to cut. That's what I'm gonna be doing next. Here's my saw, here's my Zoe, here's my bad boy. Proper saw, proper saw. If you're gonna do a proper job, you need a proper saw. So yeah, this table's, uh, this saw's actually really good because it's got a table on the side for oversized pieces like I've got on there at the moment. I got an 800. I don't want too much balancing on this end because well, as soon as I do my chop, it might fall off. So that is basically gonna sum it up. So yeah, loads of tiles, loads and loads of tiles. I got my levels set up. Hang on, let me go over here. I got one there going right the way across. And I'm gonna be putting slot draining in down here. Got my string line on the left, my string line on the right. Nice and level that way, slight fall this way. We're taking it up to two courses to DPC height. So, right, I gotta crack on with my saw and start doing some chopping. Testing, testing, testing. Testing, 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 testicles. Right, I got about 30 of these I gotta cut, so I got loads. So, it's all pre set up here at the moment. I've got a piece here on the back. So every time I cut the slab, take this piece off, slide it, butt it up against this, next cut. So I've got about 30 of those to do. So I'll show you one and then I'll just crack on with it and show you something then when I'm finished. one done um, another 29 to go and that's just for the path overall linear meters for the entire job because we're having a double board around everything is about the equivalent of about 250 linear meters so that's a lot of chopping so well actually you probably don't need 30 of these because these are 800s I did that calculation off of 600 but I'm also chop 30 of them anyway because I need probably in total oh, 100. 100 of those, 100 of the ivory. So it's going to take a while. It's going to take a while. But yeah, I won't bore you with the rest of this now. I'm just going to crack on and chop a load. And I'll stick the camera up after when I'm laying some. But pretty much ready to rock and roll now. 
Right, okay, so... Um, yeah, I've had a little set out of the doorway area. I'm just prepping loads today. So the sun's just come out, which is going to make it a little bit harder to see. But we got the grey, we got the ivory, and that's a piece of basalt there, which is quite good, actually. The size of it is 400 by 800, but it fits perfectly in line with the door. So that's going to be one of the pieces there. Then around here, then, we're going to have some more copper. But until then, I've started cutting out my corners. I'm not going to just butt corners up against each other because that would be really boring. So I'm going to cut those on my Zoe. And one of the gadgets I had with this saw, which is really good, is this corner piece here. I can set that up to the angles I want. I can tighten it up, keep it everything exactly the same position so i can just repetitively cut the same tile again and again and again because that looks much better so then when the ivory then comes here i'll do exactly the same with the ivory i'll put a nice cut in the middle of it so i've got 16 corners all in all 16 corners um, so I'm going to cut 16 of them in that position there is there. Then I'm going to grab this thing, take it off, put it on the other side so I can do the other angle. I did try cutting a tile upside down earlier to see if that would work, but as you can see there's chipped it. So that didn't work, but worth a go. So yeah. I'm just prepping today. Yesterday on the saw, virtually the whole day, I chopped all those. That was a long day. It took me a lot longer than I thought. But, um, yeah, there we go. It's all in the prep, and it? it might take time to cut, but as long as it looks awesome at the end of it, and it's the best porcelain driveway on YouTube, I'm happy. Yeah, I just had to quickly put a, put a G clamp on so we don't move. I do end up with lots of offcuts like this and triangular pieces. I do have to do something fancy by the entrance of the driveway as well. So I'll put these aside and these possibly might come in handy. Right, take the clamp off. And Leo can do that. There we go. Nice sharp cut with a good end. I'm put it quite close. The end's quite good there. So, uh, happy days. Right, I gotta make a big pile of those. 30, 32 of these I gotta make. Uh, so, yeah, I won't bore you with that lot. I'll um, crack on. Every time I put one of these on, I'll line these up. And just make sure every single one is the same as it is. That's the same. Izzy Wizzy, let's get busy. Okay, testing, testing, testing. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, I got my bed down. So, bed's laid. We're going to two courses below DPC. And the main thing is primer. Got to get the primer on. So, we'll give this a quick little. Uh, once over and this will just help bond so i've had lots of people asking me i've had lots of people asking me about can you just use cement and spr yeah if you want does it does pretty much exactly the same thing for um when you're doing it day in day out i just prefer to use proper stuff okay so that's all primed up so lay this thing So, so I'm taking this now, 
this edge about 10 mil back from this corner which is around about there as you can see my lines are already set up so i've got a full then from this side of the tile to that side of the tile it's about a centimeter so any water is going to land on here it's just going to fly over to there so first one get that in place i'll set my level just to make sure i got the right angle of the dangle is uh people like to call it so I'll go from there to there get the glasses on can't see anything these days give that a couple of taps okay that's touching there nicely and same for this side on well, this side slightly more awkward this gate's there so we just put that on there like that Taps. That looks good. So yeah, primer on. I've come back about a centimetre off the wall here. I normally do a centimetre because some of the brickwork might go in and out. And if I'm doing a five mil tight joint to there, it could um, it could interrupt what I'm doing. Cool. So yeah, I'm going to lay the ivory down there next. I'm going to stick this one copper one in, small one by there. I'm not going to bother doing these cuts here yet. I'm going to do that later. I just want to get this area down there done. So yeah, after X amount of weeks, months, I'm finally laying. So happy days. Right, well, I can't stand around here chatting to you lot. I best get on with it. So here we go. We've got a bit of a start going on. Um, as you can see where I started, it's a little bit messy, but it always is a bit messy. Um, I'm not going to bother with that bit yet and this cut yet i'm just going to run this lot in but you can kind of see the principle of what's happening i got my level string line there or string line there centimeter full over the top gray ivory copper ivory gray bish bosh <laughs> so we're giving another go we managed to get that bit done yesterday not a great amount but then i did finish about uh three o'clock my um my leg was still in bits killing me right yeah really nice colors actually i'll spin it around so you can have a look okay so here's your start got my echoes in got my corners set up um contrast looks nice actually it's hard to see at the moment properly because um maybe if i go that angle no that's not so bad is it yeah, the colours are actually really nice. There's a bit of glare at the moment from the uh, sun shining down it. Got my first cut to go in there. Another one to go around it. And get round to here today. We get the edgings up round the back. There's Leo sticking the mix on. Um, bright light, bright light. <laughs> bright light. Gremlins. Okay, so... 5 mil spaces. These clips have been really, really, really good, especially for the ivory, because they're so small. They do want to move around. So, yeah, nice one, Tyler's. They, uh, they work a treat. Yeah, that's nice. So imagine this. All around here. It's going to look pretty cool, isn't it? Lush. Oh, that's going to be the next bit then. Sorting out the fancy bit around the front. Dirty as hell at the moment. That middle one there, that's a basalt. So that's the only other single colour on the job. Which is kind of nice because it'll look like a doormat, I think. That was going to be what we were going to use originally. was the Symphony Matte Deco. If you can read it. But yeah, they took so long coming up with samples. We ended up passing... Right, okay, mix on. I best get down there and do something. Okay, so I almost finished. I'm going to show you a little bit more. So, um, yeah, I was just showing you earlier the path, really, earlier. But I might as well show you this bit I've done. So these corners are really nice. They are quite cool. Um, yeah, i got a water butt going in there for that bit. 
Oh, let me spin this round. Ow. So you've got a water bucket going in there in that corner. And I've still got to do some messing around with that pipe there so I haven't laid that one in. A couple of tiles here on the corner. They're just temporary at the moment until I cut a curve out of there because I got the border. I got the double border go around there as well. The ivory and the grey. Um, yeah, there we go. Something. Um, I'm not going to bother showing any more now. Not until my next video is going to be the circular area here. But that's going to be a real mind bender. That's going to be tricky. That's going to be tricky. This nice fencing's nice as well, isn't it? We've done that as well not too long ago. Just size that arch. Ching. That goes around there in the corner. That's pretty cool. But yeah. I mean, this is gonna I'm gonna upload this now tonight. It's um, almost like a bit of a teaser. A little bit of a tease. Because I have been talking about this porcelain driveway for ages, isn't I? Porcelain driveway, porcelain driveway, porcelain driveway. It's like yeah, 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 get on with it then, let's see it. So at least I'm on the job. At least I'm on the job. At least I've started. After a long wait. Um yeah, so I'll upload this tonight. And um my next one then will be Either I'll do some round the front on the drive. I'll get some of those towels in next week. Or I'll do... Well, I'll do a separate one for that one. And I'll do one for this one, for this circular bit. Blah, 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 blah. Right, okay. So, um, right, okay. So, ah! <laughs> Even he's laughing every time I'm flipping and saying it. Right, okay, so. I almost did her again. Just to continue. Almost. Right. I'm not going to. I'm not going to. So... Like, <laughs> ah, well, yeah, kind of, almost, wasn't it? Nearly. Nearly, nearly. Right, actually, sorry, one more time. Right, okay, so I'm going home. Like and subscribe if you like. If not, don't worry. It's all good. Right, i got to go home. See ya. What's happening? Tidy bricks. Tidy, 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 tidy like. So I left you the other day. Um, with that bit done and yeah I posted that video um, Saturday I actually it was really clever Saturday I thought I'd post it at peak time so I did it on Saturday around about 5 o'clock something like that so we get most views out of it um, so yeah back on here today I'm going to have a go with the circle as you can see circle 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 see the cement I've done all the way around it Ooh, yeah. giddy so I did that the other day to allow me to cut the cuts and to lay them all down dry. So I can go right the way around the circle because the last thing I want to do is hole one, hole one, hole one. By the time I get all the way around to the start again, end up with a little cut. So I put the cement down on the floor already. I still got a bed on top of it, but it just allows me to put it down dry so I can make sure it all works. Um, 72 cuts I've just Done. Right, I'm going to set the camera up on my stand and explain to you now how I'm going to make it into a visseur. I think that's how you call it. Visseur? Visseur? Oh, that's it. Visseur. Right, I'm going to make some visseurs. Ooh, sounds posh. Down a bit, 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 down a bit. Bang on. Right, let's show you how to do a visseur. No doubt that's French, isn't it? Mm. So I got my centre point that I showed you. Um, got my piece of string line. So I've made sure my first tile is nice and square with the way it's got to go. Um, got myself a ballpoint pen. So what I need to do, oh, let's go a bit lower. I'm going to pull this string line to this end point here. And then I got to mark, mark that off there. Pull that round to the same. Mark that piece off there. So I got a string line, straight edge now. And I go straighten that up to this corner. Same there to that corner. Pop over to the saw. And several hours later, hopefully um, I'll have them chopped. Oh, I love this bit. 
<laughs> not. Okay. Right, let's start this one off with a... Right, okay, so... <laughs> so I've just set up my jig. So I've got my mark there in the red pen. You can just about see it. And I go on that side. So jig set up. Time for me to start chopping. Right, so I've taken away the shuttering. Now I've got my pin there on the floor. I just gotta make sure it's circular. So I'll show you my little gadget I've made up. Two pieces of string, one end with a bottle top on the end, just so when it goes on here, it can spin around and it doesn't get coiled around. Then the other end, I got myself a screw, two pieces of string line. So when I pull it straight, it will actually keep the nail straight as well, because otherwise you could be going around angles like that and like that. So I've got two pieces of string on it and that'll just keep it nice and straight. So I'm gonna go around now, I'll pop the camera over and I'll just mark a couple of bits out. Uh, and then I'll lay the vassoirs out then and get them all nice and even, because I don't want to end up with um, a cut, basically. So I can lay them all dry, put them all down. If I can open the joints, tighten the joints, whatever I gotta do just so I can keep that circle. Right, well, I'll pop this camera over there. Actually, I might as well just move it. Right, if I put that like that. So there's my string. So, as you can see, it keeps it nice and straight. So I'll take this fissoir off, and hopefully you can see that. And it's gonna go around now and mark all my all my edges. I'm not quite sure if you can see that one. I've actually caught the tripod. But yeah, that's a general idea. Keep it nice and straight so you can pivot. All right, boring, blah, blah, blah. But then say that might be useful for somebody. It is quite cool. One of those eureka moments. Ding! There we go. Happy days. So yeah, I went round. Um, I joined them all up. I needed to cut another five and then I had to open up two inches throughout. So I just went round. I actually did two, two round, two loops, trying to get it all nice and even. But yeah, all nice and even. So I've got a mixer and a mixer now. I'm gonna level off from there and level that way and level that way and um, get that in today. Yeah, my labourer's not in today. He's got a bad back. Ah, oh, bless. So whilst he's got a bad back, I'm gonna do all the knickknacks, all the things only I can do and takes time. So yeah, perfect little number. Oi. So, lots of people mentioning the other day, Where's your knee pads? Where's your knee pads? Well, thanks to Mr. Sky Engineer who left this around my house. I got this as a knee pad. Happy days. That's actually pretty comfortable as well. So, right. I'm not gonna lift up. I'm only gonna lift up one tile at a time. For instance, I'm gonna lift that tile up, stick a bed, prime it, glue it, bang it down move on to the next one just so i know if i move them all then i'd have to figure out where the joints are again so one at a time um yeah pretty much it really okay so huh. right okay so so traps and mix right pop that one up stick the bed down Prime the back of it, as usual. So yeah, like I said before, people did ask me about um, using SBR and cement. Yeah, why not? Same thing really, I suppose, isn't it? For, um, I just prefer to use the proper stuff. You know, when you're doing it day in, day out, you got to, you know. Right, prime, cement, Pop that on. 
so it's in the same position as it was previous. Same size joint, same size joint. All I gotta do now is level it. Pop that on there. Stick a level on it. Tap it down, tap it down. Cool. So yeah, just pick one up, lay it, pick one up, lay it, pick one up, lay it. Um, yeah, always all about the prep though. Always about the prep. And I got myself a little boat level as well, so I can go sideways as well. Voila. There we go. Right, repeat, repeat, repeat. I was gonna say to them then, Rose. Um, nah. Right, well, I suppose you get the idea now. Cement, primer, tap, 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 level, round, around, around, around. So yeah, when it's all done, then I'll just go around my level then and just tap, tap, taps and get everything perfect. So don't forget as well, when I finish doing this, I've got to cut ivory for soirs next as well, for this side of it. Okay. Right, okay, so, right, majority then. I've just got to that one, and that one was my first one. So, I haven't tried it yet. I've actually left this last minute spur of the moment. This is where a big level. Let's finally see if I managed to get it level across. Oh, actually, should be pointing it towards it, shouldn't I? Well, it's on it, it reaches just a little bit high there on the right hand side but that's not too bad considering i was leveling around with the boat level so i started behind there oh i gotta do this slowly otherwise i'll spin out oh. so yeah all that done with the boat level now i've just got to the end piece where i'm slowly getting to reach the corners that ends fractionally high Puh talking a couple of mil so yeah i'll just tap those down a little bit but um yeah i'm pretty happy with that that worked out well because you never know until you get to the end have you kept the level right um yeah so i'm doing the um ivory veneers today even though i got a really good saw and everything it's really hard to get my jig set up perfectly and if there is a little bit of tolerance from there to there like that might be a millimeter bigger than that one it really is affecting it. So I'm ending up with uh, crappy little joints like that. So what I'm having to do, I'm having to use my grinder and shave in the blade, shave in the edge down a bit. I'll set my camera up just so you can see it. Right, I've got to shave, I've got to shave one of these down a bit. I'm going to, can you see that one? No, you can't see that one. Let's turn the camera around that way a little bit. Yeah, this edge there, that needs that needs a millimeter just off the edge here. So, like I said, I'm gonna run the blade over it like that. now we're more in line with each other so it looks like I'm gonna have to do this now with all of them um, oh, well wow. 70 something 75 of them I gotta do as well so this is gonna take me a lot longer than I thought but if you want perfection you got to put the hours in didn't bother with that idea in the end, getting the little grinder and shaving bits off for a time. Um, right, testing, testing. 
I scrapped the idea in the end of uh, cutting loads with a jig, then um, trimming them down if I needed. I just cut in each one individually. It was the only way to do it. So, um, yeah, I did it that way in the end. So, a couple of hours doing that. Now it's time for corned beef, Branston pickle and mustard sandwiches. Oh. Yum, yum. Um, so, in case you haven't watched any of the preparation videos, reinforced concrete base. Reinforced concrete base. All in all, by the, tire, by the time the tile gets on the top, it's around about 400 to 500 mil deep. So it's mega, mega strong. Tiles we're using, supplied by Marshalls. We're using a copper coloured tile. They don't look very coppery at the moment because they're quite dirty. We also are using, and let me show you the front. There we go. Check that out. That's the bit directly outside the front. Um, around the perimeter of the um, driveway, we're using a grey colour with an ivory. That is going to go right the way around, and that's going to go down there, across there, back up here, around there, around there, down there, across there, back, blah, blah, blah. A lot of cuts. It's taken me about a week to do all the cuts. So, yeah, like I said, the tiles are supplied by Marshalls UK. Really great tile. And... Um, yeah, can't wait. Let's get going. Let me just give you a little heads up on what it looks like so far. This is 14th of December. So highly unlikely I'm going to get this wrapped up by Crimbo. But the entrance looks really nice, doesn't it? Let me just pull back a bit so you can see the door and the entrance tiled area. Um, I do have a time-lapse camera set up as well which did actually play up yesterday. I recorded what I was doing around the front there and I went to turn the camera off and um, it didn't process anything. So that was a bit crap. Right, I've really got to get on with this today because I'm on my own again because my labourer, uh, he's got a bit of a bad back. So I got to crack on, but I shall keep you updated and um, You'll have a good idea what this looks like. Oh, while I'm here, briefly as well, I will come back into this. The house, the driveway obviously slopes this way. So what I've done, the front area there from the door slopes this way, slopes that way, and also slopes this way. I did lay some tiles this morning, which are nice and level. Now these tiles here, they're all sloping down. So any water lands on this, it's gonna land there and come down this way. And this section here is gonna act as a gutter, I would say. And all the water then can run into the ACO, which is gonna be right in front of the garage. I have actually just ordered that, the ACOs. They're coming Thursday, I need some more sand and stuff. So, right, I'd love to stay in chat, but it's been three minutes already and I gotta get a move on. So I managed to get that bit in yesterday, kicked all the clips off. I went around the back, I did a load of cuts for the curve. Now we're gonna crack on on the front. I'm gonna do a little bit more. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna finish that row off and then I'm gonna do two more rows there. Then I'm gonna stop and show you a little bit more information on it. Uh, yeah, we're cracking on quite well here now. I haven't showed you me lay, laying any tiles yet, but um, we will now. So yeah, as you can see, I've got these, got these clips. To bought from Tyler's Tools. So, for instance, I'm gonna stick one in there, one in there, one in there. Grab three of these caps then. The beauty, a bit, the beauty with these clips as well, you can actually tell what you've already laid so you know what not to actually stand on. So, that is the other beauty. Plus, they really do lock them in place as well. So my bed's laid. I've got my clips ready. This is the tile I'm going to be doing next. So I'm going to stick a bit of primer on there. Nice dollop of it, not to be shy. A lot of people have, had, have asked me about using SBR and... Um, I forgot what the other thing is, that's behind cement, yeah. You can do that if you want, you can use it, but 
like I've said on previous videos, when you're doing it day in, day out, you just want to use the prop stuff. So, right, this one's going in here. I'll plop that there. And check me out. I do have my mat. Always people asking about that thing. So I'll get it roundabout in place. And what I like to do then, I like to lock one off straight away. So I know it's not going to shift around anymore. A couple of five mil spaces. Plant me in one there, one there. So I know the bottom of the tile is pretty much where I want it. I just got to tap down this end now. So that's pretty much spot on my match. So two more spaces. One in there. One in there. Oop. Oh, they're going to have to do that again. Ugh. Spin that on. Get it around about tight. Then what I like to do then, I like to hit into the corner. And then when I know that's hit into the corner, my string line, my string line's good. It's actually come off. Oh, yeah. Keep it there. And just lift that string back up where it should be. Okay, string line's telling me where it is. All good to go. Now I can tighten up these caps now. You don't have to tighten up too much. For, um, that's tight enough for them to hold so I've got another big square to go in there and then the long long one to go in there then this is this row finished for this area along here then we're gonna have the same as I've been doing up against the house we're gonna go for an ivory and a copper and then the bit behind me that's going to be a fancy pattern, just like the entrance to the um, the entrance to the house. So, yeah, that's just my little way of sticking these tiles together. Looks good. A couple more to do there. Then I'll show you then the levels and what we've actually done that direction to keep the water from heading towards the eco drain, which is the most important thing because it's not a permeable drive, obviously. So you really do have to get your angles really good. And so far, I've been very successful. All up pucker. So, um, yeah, all right, cool. I'll crack on now, stick a couple more in. So I've, uh, there's, um, there's a the curved bit I cut the other day. So see this manhole cover here. I'm not quite sure if other people get the same issues. But um, sometimes the plastic covers turn up and they're a bit warped, actually. Can you see that's got a bit of a bend in it? So that had exactly the same. That had a right bend in it. I did try choose the best of the bunch, but that was pretty much the best I could do. So what I've done, hopefully it works. It should work, theory anyway. Um, I've wedged it open to the, to the size it should be. So we've got a nice size joint there and a nice size joint there. Then I've poured hot boiling water over it. So I'm hoping that's kind of made the plastic a bit malleable. If that's, um, that's the word I'm looking for. So, yeah, so that was it there, that bit. I just wanted to just show you that a little bit. Because um, I suppose lots of other people get the same issues. So this is where we are on the drive. We've managed to get this top section in now. So what's going to happen here next is along that edge is going to be ivory, then grey. Because that's going to correspond with the section there alongside the hedge. So we stop that now. So it's going to be um, ivory, then grey, um, grey and ivory, then a patch then in the middle. That's going to have some design element added to it a little bit later on. But for now, we're going to stop there. And it's about half past three. It's going to start getting dark in a minute. We'll have a crack at that bit there tomorrow. Let me come over here so you can see some of the angles I've got going. 
you notice the this section outside the door that slopes towards this gutter section i've got in the middle and then the top slopes to that i have tried it yesterday the water does land on it and it comes off really well so we're going to continue that angle going towards the garage and the echo drains which arrived earlier from travis so that's a bit of a heads up for the angle of the dangle i like to say let's finish off with a shot of my van right until then we're going home we'll catch you tomorrow see you in the morning so bear with me right what we're going to do we're going to do a quick little test and show you how the water runs off the driveway my kind assistant mr lee johnston right pour it all don't be shy and the rest of it and the rest and the other way that's it that's it get it all over there chuck it chuck it chuck it chuck it chuck it so let's watch the water come down and you can see it's already moving the direction i want it to move so that was one thing i was quite nervous about on this job I was doing a porcelain driveway as it's obviously not porous and the water you can still see it moving 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 and then that's going to connect up to the echo drain over there but yeah works well which is a result because otherwise if it didn't work well i'm sacked like a dog woof woof testing 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 so here we go we're on uh, part four is cracking on so what what it looks like so far is this um we're going to do a small section behind lee over there this morning if we can get the bit where the string line is back that way done today tomorrow then we can come this way wednesday thursday we can have a blast of that bit over there but what we have to do, because there's so many different variants of colours of tile, we've got three different type of batches. We've got a batch here where they're all pure copper. Then we've got another two batches there where the back ones are mostly dark and the ones in front here, they've mostly got a bit of each. So we don't want to end up laying the tiles. Then the last section we got they're all predominantly one Pacific colour. So we're having to sort everything out. So yeah, it's all part of it though, we've got to do that. So right, I'll show you what today's plan is. Where we got this gutter level here, we're going to continue that across here. That's going to continue across there. And we're going to do a pattern, different, completely different pattern then from this side to that side using the Marshalls paving planner, which allows you to plan out different patterns. It's very useful if anybody wants to use something like that. It's Marshalls paving planner. Right, okay, so ah, there we go. My first, right, okay, so for the day. So there we go, I've fitted that in. Now we're gonna start laying this small row first, then we'll start the pattern back that way. Okay, everybody got that? Right, let's stick it together. Hi people, stage four. Um, yes, day I'll have it in. Today we've managed to get this bit in, but it's really complicated. It's so complicated. The angles, other dangles, are driving me insane. Because when you think of it, the back bit there against the garage, where the echo is going to be, that's got to be dead flat. But then you look at this bit by there, which is on an angle. I've got to go from that angle to levelling out. Yeah, because this ends like that. And by the time it gets to the echo, i got to get it all flat. Which is such a pain. Which basically means... I'll spin it round and show you. It's it's not 100% accurate, but it's manageable. And it has to be manageable for doing what I'm doing because there's you just can't bend tiles. 
on a curve. Well, no, it's not a curve, but it's on a gradient, which is changing angles. I'll spin it round, quickly show you. Then I'm gonna go to McDonald's, cause I'm pretty hungry. Right, spin around, then I'm going, cause I've had enough, cause it's raining. So what I'm gonna try and explain here is, so because we're going from that angle there, and then it's going flat, these tiles, these tiles here, they're all following that angle, but eventually I've got to get them to flatten out. So what is happening is, um, classic example here, here we go, this is a good one. See, this one's a bit low. Not a lot. It's only a millimetre or something like that. But it has to be, I have to, oh God, I, it has to be like that because I've got to get this end flat and that's following an angle. So to get that end flat, that means this bit has to be flat. But then you end up with that being a bit low. That's happening on that one there and that one there. It's not a lot in it. It's not a lot in it, you know, but it has to be done. There's, I just can't do it otherwise. Can't do it otherwise. So, yeah, um, belting it down with rain tomorrow. Uh, so we won't be doing anything. Then it's Christmas Eve. Um, I don't know, is it Christmas Eve, Wednesday, Thursday? Oh, anyway. Well, we've got one more day. So we're either going to do some more work here or I'm going to go over there and have a little blast of that bit. But it started raining now and it's going to be in for the rest of the day. So rather than getting wet, we're going to get out of here. I need to feed my big fat belly. Right, one more quick little glimpse. So, yeah, part four. Part four is almost done. What I've had to do tonight as well, I've had to count up all these tiles. Then I'm going to work out the metre square of what I've got left to see if there's enough to do that bit over there, to finish that bit off there, and the path down that way. So I've got a funny feeling I need to buy some more tiles. But I won't know till I get my calculator out and start making notes. But until then, we shall see you in a couple of days' time. Um, yeah, this bit I was showing you the other day was doing my head in because I'm trying to bend something around a curve. It's going all right, though. It's going well. It's, uh, it's levelling up. It's levelling up at that bit. So I'm happy. So, yeah, like I was showing, got the saw out. Uh, we were, I was hoping today, we were going to do what we just done behind us and have a go down there. But uh, that's not going to happen, I don't think. So we're going to do a load of cuts up against the ACO and be happy with that, I think. But it's a shame it looks so dirty at the moment. It's a shame it looks so dirty. But as soon as we get some more cuts in there, then we're going to run a couple more rows down there. And then uh, McDonald's, McDonald's, other companies, uh, what was it? Um, yeah, there are other places available for food. Ho, 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 it's almost Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> bah humbug, I hate Christmas. <laughs> I do, I hate it. Does my head. Right, there we go. Hi. So... Can't see anything. Bright light, bright light. Um, yeah, almost got a bit done on the drive, but we've run out of the long, thin ones. Um, she can probably let me point one out with the long, thin one. See? Run out of them. So we have to chop some big ones on the saw. I just set up my jig. So jigs there every time i cut one pull that piece off move it over cut another one move it over cut another one um yeah so we're gonna have a little blast of that i'm gonna spin the camera around now just show you how this is going with the um, angle of the dangle which has been driving me insane um yeah i'll spin around show you that chop some do a bit do one Right. 
running short this size we just need a chop uh, maybe three of each or something like that push up out there sharpening stone hold out chop 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 Got the time lapse up as well. We're going to go for a couple more rows. We are definitely going to be running short. There's not a lot left. Not a lot left. But it's, it should be pretty much around about what we need. But anyway, we're going to get some of this in today. Um, borders and stuff then. All that will come later. But yeah, crack on. Crack on, it's not, um, it's not 2021 yet. Plenty of times are late. Brrr, cold, 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 cold. Um, got another little section of that in yesterday. Um, yeah, started pouring it down with rain about uh, about midday yesterday, so we uh, called it a day, and apparently today is going to be the same. It's going to get cold, and tomorrow is going to be minus two. So, um, yeah, nothing happening tomorrow, but then tomorrow is... New Year's Eve or maybe New Year's Day? I don't know. I don't know. Don't care. Got a job to do, got to crack on. So I got my string line running across there to the end where that's got to go. So what I do then is level from the slabs I've laid to the string line to make sure I'm heading in the right direction. But it's all looking pretty funky now. And this section. I figured it out. Ding! We're gonna go for something called a Greek key, which is uh, quite a complicated pattern, but worth it, worth it. Might as well push the boat out and put something really special down. So I know the dimensions are gonna fit because I've checked it this morning. I checked the dimensions last night for the pattern. It should actually fit. And now I know it will fit. So that'll give me something to do on the weekend, figure out what type of uh, the design, see if I can get it all fit in symmetrically. But until then, we've got some more slabs to lay. So, yeah, slab on, or tile on. Yeah, tiles. Right, I'm gonna have to stick some gloves on first. It can be quite messy. So the cement bed's down. And I'm using these clips which I get from Tyler's Tools. They are really, really cool. So I laid my bed already. I'm gonna stick a bit of priming on here now. Look over here so you can see the priming. This is the normal, this is the normal Marshalls primer. We're gonna keep using this stuff for now, until I run out. Right, okay, so, let's spin that round. So what I like to do, plonk it on as close as you can actually get it. So I like to get it as close as possible, which it is. And the next step I like to do is put these clips on, because they're going to stop it from shifting around. So I'll put them around about four of those. One in each corner. Then I'll tap it down then to exactly the position I actually need it. But yeah, these are really good, these, these uh, clips. One, the good, some of the good reasons is, you know what's laid, so you know what not to stand on. Plus, they do what they say on the tin. They hold everything in position nicely. So they're not all the way down tight now. So I'm going to make sure i got enough room for four of these spaces. I'm going to plonk them in. And when they're in position, 
like that. I like to hit in from the corner to tighten it right up. So I'll do a couple of taps there, making sure that line's level there. That line's level there. They do pop out every now and then, these things, but it's totally fine. I'll just grab my spirit level. Just to make sure it's all flat underneath, which it is. I'll just do give it a quick level that way. Nice and flat. So now this is in position. Now we can tighten these up. As soon as they're tightened up then. Then I'll just give another tap into the corner. The reason being hitting it into the corner so you know it goes right over there, touching the spaces. I'll do that, a couple of little taps, make sure it's solid. Final tighten. And you know you're good to go. Then you just come back the following day, you kick the clicks off, pick up all these things, stick them in a pile. You're ready then for your next area. But it's almost the end of the day now. Well, it's not almost the end of the day. We're actually running low on tiles. So we can put two more in over there. Another long, thin one and a big square one. Then we're going to have a bit of a tidy up then. And i got to wait for Marshalls to open back up on the 4th of Jan so I can get on the phone. I need some more tiles. Out of 127 metres I ordered, I think I need another five metres or something like that. But yeah, that's fine. You know, you only can get it so close. And if you need to add to the order later, then so be it. But yeah, so that's a good way of installing tiles. Nice four and one sharp sand mix. So I'll clean all this out next. Stick two more tiles in. Then we're off to um, get some food. McDonald's, probably. There are other food outlets available, I must say. <laughs> <laughs> testing, testing, testing testicles. So, 2021, back at it. Um, we're just figuring out a bit of drainage over there for the ACOs to go down the side of the house. But we're going to do the ACOs along here today. We're going to get this section in there. I got a bit of copper to go into that string line, then it is ivory, then the grey, and then the echo. So I was short of tiles, and I've just found out tiles can't come till this time next week. This is real swine, but that's okay, because there is loads of snagging i got to do. AKA, not AKA, it has nothing to do with it, so. There. Man, I'll cover right down the end. I can do all these bits. Bit there along the front, bit in there. Um, I'm actually going to have a blast at doing the Greek key pattern design over there this week whilst I'm waiting for tiles. But I got my time lapse set up already. So, yeah, we're going to crack on with the ACOs long here for now. And um, I'll come back to you later with something. You know what? Probably some news of what I'm doing. Bye. So, got a delivery behind me. Happy days. Needed one more pallet. I thought it was about eight metres, but actually it was a lot more than that. So, yeah, lush. So, it's coming along nicely now. It's coming along nicely. Uh, nice little section here. So, these tiles I got coming now. They're going to help me do this area around there and down the side of the house over there. Finally coming closer. Ooh, I'm all excited. Um, yeah, great to see these lads. I wasn't expecting them to turn up today. I knew they were going to possibly turn up tomorrow. Well, Monday, sorry. But um, yeah, he's turned up early. Happy days. So we get those in position now and we'll be able to crack on then Monday, start getting the majority of it done. Well, I'll spin it round now, just show you what I've been doing the last two days. Cuts, cuts, bloody more cuts. So, the last couple of days, we've been having a bash at this corner. Doing in that corner there. 
Had a go of that one. Just had some swines of a cut to do around there. So I'm glad they are in. It's good to get all the snagging stuff done. And I've got another manhole cover done down this end as well. And I must admit, I hate to admit it, but cross joint alert, cross joint alert. Can't have that, can't have that. The two tiles there on the right where my foot is, they actually went in first. They were done ages ago. Then the tiles around the manhole cover I put in later. And yeah, that was the best option to put in them like that. So I ended up with a cross joint. So I can't have that. So I'm gonna whip that out now and we're gonna put some different cuts in there. We're gonna put a big 600 by 600 from there to there, then a cut then along there, which I've got in several places down there. So I'm gonna get the disc cut out now and chop that out and make it look better because that's just one thing you can't do. Well, you can, but I don't. Right, okay, so that's out. That one's sorted because that was bugging me. Can't have things like that. Well, you can, but I don't, like I said, blah, blah, blah. Right, the next bit which is bugging me is that bit there. Let me come around this side. So when I started from that corner, that was a set size, set size, set size. This was where I first started there. So I didn't really have this bit in mind, calculated how that was gonna work here. But yeah, I don't like it. I don't like that little edge here. So I'm gonna trim that off. Then I'm gonna cut that up there to match that joint. Then I'm gonna put another piece in there, flushing up to that corner so that's the next bit i'm going to rip up and whilst we're talking about cross joints somebody did mention to me the other day about cross joints let me uh come over here so here yeah there are cross joints cross joints there cross joints there but don't forget it's a different style that's linear this isn't linear and it's an expansion joint so yeah there are some cross joints but yeah that's to be expected you can't do it otherwise otherwise that pattern would have to come through there and I wouldn't be able to do that linear enough yada 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 let's um, set my time lapse up and rip that bit out one more thing I did as well I put two halves next to each other there's none there and there's none there so why did I do it? Well, anyway, I don't like it, it's coming out. So, morning people. So I got this section in yesterday and that was Lee over there. Did the last one we done that primer test. So that bit's clear. So we're gonna have little blast rounds here now. Got this bit in here I'm standing on. Done that yesterday. That's gonna allow me now to put the corners in. These are the corners I chopped ages ago. So they're, uh, they're ready to go in now. So yeah, I'm gonna put those in along here and along there, along the front there as well. Then after that, we're gonna have a blast down the side of the house. And yes, there is enough tiles. Thank God for that. Morning, morning, morning. Morning, 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 morning. And a brrr, cold winter it is. Yeah, it's been really chilly this morning. Um, I woke up eight o'clock, it was minus one. Nah. Too cold. Spence has got to be three degrees and rising anyway to actually do anything. So a lot has actually happened snag-wise. Pathway's done. A lot has happened since I last filmed. Um, now I'm starting over there now in the corner on the ramp. I'm going to have a blast of that today. i got a little bit of border to do by there to follow what's been going on around there. Um, you might have seen the other day, or you might not have actually, it depends. Um, I've got the pattern sorted, actually. That Greek key thing I'm doing. It's in the back of the van. So, that's my template for the entrance bit behind me. So our customer's coming down about 12 o'clock to the day. We just got to discuss borders going around the outside for the chipping area so nothing lands on the path. Um, yeah, slowly getting there, slowly getting there, but almost. 
yeah, so just this area I've got to do now today. I've got to sort this out. I uh, I did my first cut yesterday around the pipe. i got another one pre-cut there. i got that mitered corner to go in there as well. And get that bit in and hopefully the tiles I got there are going to be enough. I had a bit of a calculate yesterday. I think it's going to be enough. I think so. Soon find out. Start laying. Catch you in a bit. Happening, YouTubers, faithful subscribers, and new viewers, hit that like button. Doosh, doosh, doosh. Um, getting there, getting there. Got a bit of a board to do around that copper bit there. Um, I'm gonna have a go with the ramp area today. I got my first corner in there around the down pipe. I cut another one around the down pipe. I got another corner, might a corner to go in there. Gonna start running this in to maybe around about here, then start my ramp. Hopefully you saw that and I couldn't see anything. And I got those tiles to do it. I think I got enough. I think I got enough. I hope I got enough. I'm sure I got enough. Be sure I got enough. Right, so nothing spectacular to show you at the moment. I'll get my um, Greek key thing out after, my template. And I'll stick it in the uh, entrance area by there. That's going to look cool. Customers coming down about... Oh, sorry about that. Customers coming down about midday. So we can have a look. And we can discuss a couple of things. Till then, I'm going to start laying. Things to do. What? Right. How you doing, guys? Saturday afternoon. <laughs> Sun's just finally come out. Um, yeah, I haven't done much filming lately because I've just been trying to crack on with it. But I've been having a blast of the um, the uh, ramp area today. So I got a little wall in there just to take the tiles. So usual things going to be the board around the outside, then then the little ramp. And then zap it. Hopefully you can see it. Then zap it. Then um, almost then we. I put a bit of salt down on the floor. I don't know if you can see it. Got the white stuff. Apparently it's going to pour down with snow tonight. So, um, yeah, just in case, isn't it? Just in case, put a bit of salt down. Right, i got to go see another job around the corner. So, uh, catch you Monday. Oh, sun's in the way. Catch you Monday. <laughs> What's happening, YouTubers? What's happening? Scott here, Tidy Bricks. Um, yeah, doing the Greek key now. Got them with virtually the driveways done. Just got to figure out the pattern now on the front. Um, yeah, so this is the Greek key design. This is going to be mega complicated. So I got my time lapse set up. I'm going to do a time lapse of me chopping them all and installing it. So I'll spin it around and show you what the plan is. So here we go. <coughs> so here we go, testing, testing. So, so, so. Right, okay, here we go. It's um it's started, it's commencing. So what I've done, I've got I got three of these. I've already chopped two of them, but I'm gonna show you this one. So for my mitered corner, I've gone from corner to corner. So when I chop that, then I'm gonna chop these down to fifty mils. And when I do that, I've already got my mitered forty-five corner sorted. So I'm gonna crack on now, start chopping these. Um, like I said, got my time lapse set up as well. Um, yeah, it's going to be a separate video. So, yeah, this is going to be lush or tidy. So, here we go. Game on, game on. So, saw set up, time lapse set up. That's the pattern there. Um, border, 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 Greek key in the middle. So, yeah, stress on. Um, I have to say a big thank you to Juniper Landscapes this morning. I went to see in Bristol, um, another Marshalls installer. I was a couple of tiles short of the ivory. So we got a WhatsApp group and um, he had some spare ones. So rather than waiting days and days and paying penalties of fees and Marshalls and stuff, I went round to Bristol this morning, picked it up. So, yes, yeah, saw set up over there. So what I'm gonna do, every piece I cut, I wanna lay it in position. 
so I know it works. Then when it all works, I'll unwrap it and start sticking it where it's got to go. So I got a couple of boards down on the floor, some plastic to go on top of it, because if that board gets wet, it's gonna uh, it's gonna warp and uh, make a mess, and it won't be good enough for me to use. So right, let's get dressed. So here we go then, game on, Greek key time. So first thing, cut the scaffold planks down, some DPM, put the template on it. Got to put the template on it, got to protect that, because that's, that's God, that bit is. So yeah, as soon as the um, template was down, it was a simple calculation of, because everything was actually drawn out, I can actually count the 50 mil increments and the joints, and whatever that measurement was, cut that 45 degree angle, and hey presto, there's the first cut. And yeah, theory worked well, practical work well and um, I was most impressed so there might be some more of these things coming up testing testing so here we go guys there we go there's one done one done three more to go but actually I'm quite happy with that I'm quite happy with that uh, it looks good right okay let's move on number two so this is when it went in a little bit pear-shaped, because my original idea was cut the first piece and take it over to the saw, cut another three pieces, bring them back, put them on the template, so on and so on and so on. But for some reason I just got completely distracted because the first way was so easy. I just thought, oh sod it, I'll just keep measuring them individually. Testing, testing. So here we go. Two down, two to go. That's going quite well actually, and the lines... The lines are pretty good as well. Actually, that bit there, that looks like a bit of an optical illusion. Wow. You never notice these things until you start doing it. It does actually look like an optical illusion. Cool. It's just going to look even better. Right, two down, two... So, two down, two to go. So, what was really good as well is that square I'm using there at the moment. Because it was actually um, five mil recessed piece of steel which was on it, which was so handy because I could put that in the actual joint which is there and I could mark off a perfect 45 degree angle from there. Absolutely great. Testing, testing. Three down. Three down, one to go. Happy days. It's not as bad as I thought, actually. Um, yeah, see if I can get the last one in before it gets dark. Um, I believe this one was first one of the morning. So, yeah, I had a fresh head on, which was handy. I was thinking about it all night, prepared my brain for it. So as soon as I turned up in the morning, put it together, bish bosh. Testing, testing, testing. So there we go, people. Number four in. Um, yeah, started a drizzle of rain now. There's a couple more cuts to do. Oh, my Sharpie's not working um, on wet tiles. But I am happy with that. I am happy with that. I think it looks good. And actually, those square bits, they look a bit of a, they do actually look a bit of an optical illusion, don't they? Cool. There we go. So happy days. I got that bit in. We'll uh, hopefully there's a bit of better weather tomorrow, and um, I can finish off the cut end to go around the outside. Copper to go around the outside. Slamming the lamb. Get it in. So, right. My time lapse is very low on battery. I better take that home and stick some more batteries in it. Okay guys, see you in the morning. So I kind of got the border figured out. I just had to use different size tiles to the ones I was actually gonna use. But they're almost gonna be kind of temporary. I'm gonna put the middle ones in, but I'm not gonna put the uh, mitered corners in yet until the shape's actually done. Then I can get an exact measurement of the mitre. So I've got some cement made up now, I've just got to make some primer and start sticking them in, start getting some progress.
So here we go then. Let's start laying. Um, yeah, nice bit of cement, primer under each, each one of them. Those Vita clips I just put in there, they were really handy. I'm so glad I bought those things because the smaller ones really did want to move around a lot. And yeah, this is a typical example where those things do come in handy rather than, you know, laying larger tiles on a patio or anything. But yeah, most impressed. Um, it's a bit of a mishmash, but I think we got there in the end. So there we go, there's one of them in. Wow, that was hard. That was tricky. I'm so glad I got those clips from Tyler's Tools. They've really helped out, especially the small ones. The small ones just, they just want to move around loads. Um, right, next. So unfortunately, the one you're actually watching at the moment is the fourth one, because I had a bit of a mishap with my time-lapse camera. It was filming everything. I got it in the angle to film every single square. It was running perfect. Until the end of the day came, I um, went over to take the camera off the tripod, fell on the floor, and nothing was saved. So unfortunately, we haven't got a proper video of that. This is filmed from my iPad, balanced on a block. Check it out. Two down, two to go. I think it's going quite well, actually. Um, yeah, a little bit of adjusting here and there, but a good thing with these screw caps, because they hold it so tight, especially the little ones, they just want to move all the time. So yeah, you know, I can put it in, if I need to adjust it, just loosen the caps, slide it down a little bit to meet the corners. But um, most impressed. Hope you are too, because I'm stressed out. So there we go, three down. Three down, this is the following day, by the way. Three down, one to go. So I'm going to put that one in now. Then I'm going to start then with my uh, with my ivory and grey border to go around the outside. So yeah, nice dry day today as well, finally. And it's dry tomorrow, so that's going to help loads. So this one, we do actually have a time lapse, because this is the following day after I realised my camera didn't record everything. So that's doing a good job filming the fourth one. As you can see, i got my iPad and my phone filming it for the ones you saw earlier sorry about that testing 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 what's happening meow so I came in yesterday i um had to go with the last square the one by my head i had to go with that one yesterday um yeah it was going down well nice the forecast was okay it started raining stopped cover it up Sat in the van, have a coffee, started raining, stopped cover up, back in the van, done that about three times, and went home. And the worst part is, I got home, had a shower, put the kettle on, and sat down about half past one, and the sun came out, and it was sunny for the rest of the day. And there was no way I was coming back and forth, back and forth. It's a long distance I got to travel to come to this job, so I didn't want to spend half my time on the motorways. Oh, well, anyway, 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 anyway. That's what it looks like. Um... That last one does need a little bit of tinkering. Does need a little bit of tinkering. Um, and one of the other ones needs a little bit of tinkering. So I'm going to pop those ones up today, the ones I'm not really happy with. Pop them up and relay them. Um, right, I'm going to stick the grey in now, border, and the ivory, and stand back, have a look at it, then decide what else I'm going to do after that. Finally on the home straight. Yeah, these mitered corners, I thought I'd put those in last so I know exact measurement that I really do need. This one there on the top right, that one worked out within five millimeters of where I hoped it was gonna work out. So I was just dead chuffed about that. It just worked right to the edge of the drive. So yeah, last, last corner to go on, then I can start concentrating then on doing the rest of the ivories and finally get into the last few on the front and call in it a day. So as soon as this grey one goes in there, then I can move across the middle and start putting the ivories in there. I did actually make a mistake here. You can see I'm actually over the joint. So um, yeah, I realised that. Lifted them up, cut them again, put them back into where I wanted them and carry on. This corner was a bit of a pain, a bit of an odd shape. And that diamond piece, because there was a difference in angle, I really couldn't get the corners exactly where they had to be. I had to make that executive decision go. 
that'll do. That's good enough. Right, last couple on the front then. And uh, time to wrap up. So, Friday. Friday afternoon, five o'clock, wrapped up. Guess what I've just done? Ooh, check that out, baby. Um, yeah, that's going to be in the other video, the installation of that one. So, um, yeah, I'll probably link in it in the display. Ding! Somewhere around there. And uh, you can see actually how I installed it. But, yeah, almost there now. Just got to put some edgings in. Edgings in, grout it, take away all the junk. Lots of junk to take away. So, right, Friday, going home. See you Monday. Hello. Hello there. Been taking ages this job, and it been taking ages, but the weather's been really, really unkind to me. It's either been pouring down with uh, rain, or it's been absolutely freezing like it is today with a minus six of wind chill factor. I just can't do anything. Just can't do anything. Cement won't go off if it's uh, anything less than three degrees. So, thanks for your patience in um, waiting for this. I'm just going to give her a clean today and make it look some pretty something to do, I suppose. But, yeah, we'll get the pressure washer out now and we'll give her a good blast. Morning, everybody. Scotty again, Tidy Bricks. Um, yeah, back after a week off work. We're all at extreme cold we had last week from the uh, beast from the east. Yeah, it was way too cold, way too cold. Wind chill factor was like minus four minus five up to minus seven so yeah i couldn't do anything i did actually come in one day to see if i could um cut a bit of earth back for the edgings which i'm about to do now but i had to use a hammer and bolter to break up earth uh, i did that for a couple of hours froze big time and decided to come home but now the cold's over and i'm back in work i'm gonna start putting the edgings in and get this job wrapped up this week so this is what i was doing around the back this is the bin area I was working on. So what I use for this, I've got two trestles and four long boards, two either side, keeping the actual post nice and plumb. And what I did in between the posts, I put tied string line around it so they wouldn't button up against each other. So post create it, chuck a load of water in it, solid. Cut the string line off after and there was a nice gap then in between each one. So out the front now, we are using the Son Vesuru edging. It is one of the best edgings I've ever used. The marbling on it, when you throw some water on it, the pattern which actually comes out of the stone is really, really incredible. Some of the markings you can just stare at for ages, they look really nice. So yeah, nice product to use and nice bit of haunching behind it as well to keep everything nice and steady. So that's that end sorted back down to the front that tile there i have to recut that one i wasn't 100 percent happy with it so um, i had to lift it up redo it again but yeah glad that bit was um, sorted in the end to my satisfaction so working on the front now for this little bit um the tile the edging which comes to the pavement i didn't want to stick it up that much so i cut it down to size where it came down to the pavement height so one less trip hazard for people coming in and coming out so that side's wrapped up just got my string line sorted now one tile the other end put my line up here start running them across um yeah home straight now so literally as soon as these bits are done then i know i gotta clean everything up because um grouting is not going to be far away in. Oh, sorry, people. See my door? It's open because I'm going home. Yes. So, otherwise, um, edgings. That's right, then today. Edgings going along there. And you can see it there past my ugly mush. And going down the side there. So, that's good. The edgings are in. And I did a little bit around the back as well earlier for the bin area. So, now that's been in, I've got about three tiles to go in around the back. Get the pressure washer out, start cleaning this thing, and before you know it, I'll be grouting. And as soon as I'm grouting, then that means the video can go online and you can actually see what the hell I've been doing for God knows how long. Right, going home. Bye. Hello. Going home. Well, not going home. We're packing the van up. Yeah. 
clearing the garage out. A load of stuff on the floor there. Got to get the saw in the back. Bit of room in the back of the van. Not too bad. So I've got to get the Zoe in there now. So we're going to put that in there. Start packing, taking some of this stuff away, getting it all locked up. And pressure washing. No, no, sorry, not pressure washing. Grouting. Did the pressure washing yesterday, cleaned all the joints out. That's a really, really important part, is making sure all your joints are empty. Do I know bits of crap in it? Nothing like that. So I did all that yesterday, got home by half past four, absolutely soaked. I was drenched. So we're going to pack the van up and get ready to start grouting. And before you know it, we're off. And I'll be able to put it online then for you guys to watch on Saturday. So yeah, here we go. Right, not going to bore you too much now. I'm going to start cleaning all this up and then we can get it all done and go and have some food somewhere. So keep watching and we'll see you in a bit. Okay guys, all grouted, all grouted. Did that yesterday, I didn't film anything yesterday because it was really stressful grouting because I was on a timer. So I'm on my hands and knees at the moment, scrubbing it all. This is the product I'm using. I'm using Lithofin Cement Residue Remover. The thing with the grout, it's really good. It, you know, it's really quick and stuff, but that looks nice now because it's wet. But when it's dry, there'll be a residue all over it. So I'm on my hands and knees, scrubbing, scrubbing, scrubbing. It's half past three. I gotta get this done because I gotta sort this video out tonight. Whew. There we go, one driveway completed. Oh, this is, uh, this is one of the longest jobs I've ever done. But I must admit, I have put a lot of love into this job. A lot of love's gone into this. I was um, 21 when I started, I'm uh, nearly 51. That's how long it's taken me. But the main thing is, it looks lush, and fingers crossed, is the best porcelain driveway on YouTube, because it is really nice, it is really nice. Right, I'm gonna spin the camera around, give you a lap of what everything looks like, then I can say one more thing before I go. So, right, let's show you what it looks like. Right, we're gonna start around the back, so you can see what the back looks like. I can't fit the grass yet, because um, when I glue it to the horn chin, it's gotta be dry, and the concrete's not soaking wet. So there's your back bit, this is the rear bit area. That was fun, actually, cutting all these for Soise. <laughs> Lol. Um, right, let's go around the front. Let's have a look at this bit. Yeah, these contrasting colours look really nice, don't they? That um, grey and ivory border does look pretty damn cool, fair play. Uh, right, wind's picking up. Hopefully it's not screwing everything up. Great key. Awesome. That was a test. That was a real test. Nice entrance. And then we've got a ramp area there. You have to excuse the cables until we figure out what cables are what. We can't really chop any of them off. But yeah, these there. These great ones are higher than the than the copper ones. Just to give it a little bit of grip. So that's it people, that is a wrap, one porcelain driveway complete. Um, I hope you like it, I really do hope you like it, because it's battered my brain this job. Oh, so tonight I'm going to go home and I'm going to have a Chinese for two. I think I deserve it. Right, thanks for watching, I hope you really enjoyed this video as much as I've actually liked doing it, and we'll catch you on the next job. See you, thanks a lot for watching, and goodbye. Oh, don't forget, like and subscribe.